What's up, everybody? How you feeling? It's your boy, Pastor Dre. Welcome to my live webinar, where I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step on how you could build a nice WordPress website for your church from scratch for free. That's right. So let me get everything hooked up over here. Let me get the sound going on. But we are all the way live. And I want to welcome all of you that are tuned in after the live webcast if you are watching it on demand. It is so good to have you tuned in. And look, it's 2020. If you don't have a website for your church, I'm going to show you how you can get one for free and build it from scratch. And this is a nice website. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the website's going to look that we're going to build. Booyah! There it is. We're going to build a website just like this from scratch for your church for free. You're going to have a homepage, live webcast page, blog page, small groups page, podcast page, and a contact us page. So the cool thing about the live webcast page is you can go live. You can just click the play button and you'll be live. So that's going to be pretty cool. And I'm going to show you how to do all that from scratch for free for your church. So let me ask you this. Are you ready to do this? Are you ready? Let me put a full screen of this website for you. It's going to look like that. That's rocking, no? Nice website. Like I said, six-page website. We're going to do this from scratch. Are you ready to do this? All right, get yourself comfortable. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comment section. If you are watching this webinar on demand, send me an email if you have any questions. Let me go ahead and put my email up for you. Let me see here. Let me put the email up for you. All right, boom. There you go. You can shoot me an email, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. That's PastorDre at PastorDre.com. Ready to do this? Let's go. First thing I want you to do is I want you to go to my website, pastordre.com. Once you get to my website, I want you to go ahead and click right here where it says free website. Go ahead and click right there. Then that's going to take you to a page that looks just like this. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and decide on a domain name. You say, what is a domain name? A domain name is like Twitter.com, Facebook.com, YouTube.com, Google.com. Those are all domain names. Now, for a church, your domain could be thecoolchurch.com, theonfirechurch.com, theradicalchurch.com. So those are domain names. Now, since this is going to be a free website, we're going to build on what's called a subdomain. So it will be something like theonfirechurch.siterubics.com thecoolchurch.siterubics.com. Now, it's not your own domain, but it'll get you started. And the cool thing, it's free. Okay? So I want you to go ahead and think of a domain name where you would like people to find you at on the web. And we're going to see if it's available because it needs to be available. So right here in this box, go ahead and type your domain. I'm going to go for, let me see, the uh, cool website or the cool church coolchurch.siterubics.com. All right, cool. It tells me it's available. The coolchurch.siterubics.com is available. So once your domain is available, go ahead and click build my free website. Okay. Now, once you click that, it's going to take you to a page that looks just like this. What I want you to do is go ahead and enter your email, enter your name, choose a username, and choose a password. Now, you might say, Pastor Dre, why is it asking me for all this stuff? Well, you are going to be a part of a community. And this community teaches people how to build websites, how to get traffic to your website. It gives you videos. There's a free version and a paid version. Now, the free version, you get, you know, you get some good stuff. I'm going to do everything that I'm going to show you in this website. I'm going to show you how to do it for free. Now, the paid version has a grip of stuff. Now, you don't have to get the paid version. But if you do, I mean, it comes with websites, it comes with um, tutorials, it comes with the keyword research tool, it comes with so much stuff. And that's like $49 a month. 
but you don't have to do that. I'm going to show you how to do everything for free. Now, the cool thing is if you do sign up, they'll give me a little commission because I am an affiliate. So if you want to sign up for the paid version, I get a little love. All right. So go ahead and enter your email, your name, choose a username, choose a password. Now I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. Once you choose all that information, I want you to click go to my account now. I'm actually going to click log in because I already have an account. So I'm going to enter my details and we're both going to go ahead and click log in. All right. Now, once you get to this page, it's going to, once you log in, you're going to get to a page that looks just like, just like this. And we're going to click where it says free domain. We want to click right there. And then it says, choose a domain name. We already chose our domain. We know it's available. Mine was the cool church. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. We know it's available because we checked it already. Enter a title for your website. I'm just going to say the cool church website. That's what I'm going to say. And that, once again, it could be your church name, your ministry name, however you want to do it. Now, I want you to scroll down. You're not going to have all these themes available because I'm a premium member. On the free plan, you only have one theme available, but that's good enough. So go ahead and click the first theme and, ch and click choose theme. Once you click that, go ahead and click build my website. Now, here's the cool thing. Once you click build my website, it is actually building you a website. You don't have to wait and get it approved and wait till tomorrow. Once this thing is done where it says finalizing installation, your website will be live and up and running. And then we just got to build it. All right. So you give it about 15 seconds. All right. There it is. It's going to say, awesome. Your website is installed and ready to go. Next thing I want you to do is click log in now. And it's going to take you to what's called your dashboard. This is the dashboard of your website. Come on, somebody. And this is where all the fun takes place. Now, what I want you to do is go into the top up here, right click and click open in new tab. And this is going to open your actual website on how it looks right now. So as you see, here's our website, our title, the cool church website, and there's a blog. So actually right now it looks like a blog, but we're going to change it to look like a website. Okay, so remember, this is our existing website, and this is our goal. We got some work to do. All right, and I'm going to move this on over here like this. Boom. All right, so this is our dashboard. This is where all the fun takes place. Are you ready to rock and roll? All right, once again, this is your existing website. This is our goal. Let's go. All right, first thing I want you to do is when you're in your dashboard, I want you to go right here where it says settings. Click right there. Next thing I want you to do is you can change where it says tagline. You could put uh, whatever slogan your church has, uh, people you call family, place you call home, the church that is on the move, whatever slogan you have. I'm just going to put the cool church. Oops, sorry about that. Let me go back there. I'm just going to put the same thing as my title, the cool church website for now. You could put whatever you want. Okay. And then I want you to go ahead and scroll down and click save changes. After you've done that, I want you to go where it says reading. Click right there. Okay. I'm sorry, not reading. We have to go to, let me see, is it general? Then we got writing. You want to go to writing. Sorry about that. So you go to settings and then you click where it says writing. And then what I want you to do is click block editor and then click yes. Scroll down and click save changes. All right. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to go where it says appearance. Okay. And just click right here where it says customize. Okay. Right there where it says customize. And then what I want you to do is go where it says site identity. <clears throat> and I want you to tick where it says hide site title and make sure hide site, hide site tagline is ticked also. Then just go ahead and click publish. All right, once you've done that, you can go ahead and click the X. All right, and then I want you to go where it says pages, and we're going to add six pages, okay? So go ahead and see where it says sample page, trash that. Go ahead and click trash. All right, and then we're going to go to add new right here, add new. And the first page we're going to add is what's going to be called our home page. Let's go ahead and close that. Right where it says add title. 
just type in the word home, H-O-M-E. I want you to click publish and click publish again. All right, click the W and then add new page. Click that. And our next page we're going to add is called live webcast. So where it says add title, I want you to type in live webcast. Okay. And then click publish and publish again. Then I want you to click the W. I want you to click add new right here. And then the next page we're going to add is called a blog. B-L-O-G. So where it says add title, just type in the word blog. And then I want you to click publish and click publish again. Once that's done, go ahead and click the W. And I want you to click add new. And the next page that we're going to add is called our podcast page. P-O-D-C-A-S-T. So click where it says add title and type in P-O-D-C-A-S-T. That's going to be our podcast page. Click publish twice right over here. Okay. And then I want you to click the W. And the next page we're going to add is our small groups page. So go ahead and click add new. Okay. Then we're going to type in S-M-A-L-L-G-R-O-U-P-S. So right where it says add title, just type in small groups. Okay. Then I want you to click publish once and click publish twice. Then I want the last page we're going to add is our contact us. So go ahead and click the W. Go ahead and click add new. And then I want you to go ahead and type in the word contact us, C-O-N-T-A-C-T-U-S. Click that where it says add title, C-O-N-T-A-C-T-U-S. Contact us. Click publish once and publish again. You have now added six pages to your website. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to click this W. All right. And we're going to take a look at our website. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Remember, this is how it looked before. Go ahead and click refresh. Now you have six pages on your website. Pretty cool. But if you look at the website right now, it looks like a blog. We're going to make it look like a website. How do you do that? I'm going to go over here to pages and then see where it says settings. See that right there? Click that. And then I want you to go where it says reading. I want you to click that. And see where it says a static page? I want you to click that. And where it says home page, I want you to click home. Boom. Where it says post page, I want you to click blog. Boom. And then I want you to click save changes. Now I want you to go back to your website, click refresh. Now it looks like a website. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shut down my social media feeds because I want you guys to tune in via YouTube. So if you are watching right now, I want you to make your way on over. Oh, we're getting some love over here. Let me give a few shout outs real quick. Let me give some shout outs. What's up, family? For those of you that are watching, let me just give a quick shout out to those that are live. Okay. Now, if you are watching via via Facebook or via Twitter, I'm going to go ahead and shut down that feed, but I want you to be able to watch this on YouTube, okay? So what I'm going to do is make it exclusively for YouTube. If you would like the link, let me see if I could post it. Oh, we got some love. Who's that right there? Michaela. Michaela, what's up, Michaela? Big shout out to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. That's so cool. All right, so we're getting some love. Ariel Bueno, what's up, what's up? We got Robbie. What's up, Robbie? Good to see you, good to see you. I want to give a shout out to all the family that's watching right there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this an exclusively on YouTube, family. So if you are watching on social media, let me post the link for you so you can continue watching. Let me just set it up real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Go to my website or let me go to my YouTube channel and get the link for you. <clears throat> okay, here it is right here. We are all the way live. Let me let me pause this here. Let me click share. Get the, get the link. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and post the link. If you guys want to watch it on YouTube, there it is right there. Okay, family? So I'm going to shut down the social media feeds. I want to direct everybody to YouTube. It's going to be rocking on YouTube. So you want to make your way over there if you haven't yet. And if you are watching on demand, if you have any questions, you could always email me. Let me put my email up once again. 
boom, you can send me an email, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. That's Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. All right, fam, so I'm going to shut down the social media feeds, and we're going to be live on YouTube. Let's do it like that. Boom, boom, boom. Do it like that. There's a lot of you watching on social media. Maybe I'll just go ahead and keep it up for this time. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. If you want to watch it on social media or you'd rather watch it on YouTube, let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and let me just do it like this. Let's just go ahead and go to YouTube, okay? So that way we could be all in one place. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this one down. Boom. Let's just do it like that. All right? All right. So we are live. We are live. We are live. Let's go. All right. So now we are making progress. So our website looks like this right now. Okay. That's how our website looks. But we're going to put some work into it. First, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of where it says home. And we're going to get rid of this stuff on the side right here. So let's go ahead and do that. The way you do that is you go to your dashboard. Okay. Remember, this is your dashboard. Just go ahead and click the word dashboard. And then what I want you to do is I want you to go where it says appearance. I mean, I'm sorry, pages. And then I want you to go where it says home. I want you to click edit block editor. Okay. And then after you click that, right where it says home, there's a little I thing. Just click that. And then I want you to go over to the right over here. Scroll down and see where it says sidebar layout. Click that. And I want you to click no sidebars. And then you click update. Now, when you refresh your website, boom. There's no home thing on the front, the front, and there's nothing on the side. We got a brand new page. Let's get busy. Come on. Let's go. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we want to add this image right here. The way you do that is you on your home page, right? I want you to click this plus, and then I want you to type in cover, C-O-V-E-R. And then see where it says cover right there? Click that. Next thing you want to do is you want to get an image. I have an image already on my hard drive. So whatever image you want on your website right here, it could be your pastor preaching. It could be uh, a, um, a picture of your services with people lifting their hands. <clears throat> it could be a picture of your church building, whatever you want. Okay, so I'm going to go get the image from my hard drive. Okay, and I'm going to, where it says upload, I'm going to click that. And it's going to take me to where I could go to my hard drive. So then I'm going to go grab an image. So let me see here. Boom, boom, boom. Let me get my live webinar picks. All right. And we're going to go with, let's see, where's my banner at? Boom, right here. That's the image we're going to go with. <clears throat> okay. And once again, I just clicked upload and got the image from my hard drive. Now, here's the cool thing. If you click on the image, this option over here pops up to the right. You can move it up and down to zero in where you want your image to be. So I'm going to go about right there. And then I want you to click update. Okay. Now, if we go to our website and we click refresh, boom, there's our image. Come on, somebody. But if you notice, this one has the image going all the way across. This one, R, stops in the middle. How do you get it to go all the way across? You go back to your dashboard. See this image right here? Click right above it. Boom. See how your options changed? Scroll down. See where it says content container? Click that and click full width. It. And then I want you to click update. Go back to your existing website. Click refresh. There it is. Woohoo! We are making progress, baby bubba. There it is. This is our goal. And this is what we have now. So how do we put typing right here on the image? All you got to do is click the image. And it's going to give you an option to type. Once again, see where it says right title? You click on that. And I'm going to say the cool church website. That's what I'm going to call mine. Now, this could be the name of your church, whatever you want it to be. But let me take my email off the screen so you guys can see more. So let me get rid of that. Boom. Let's get rid of that real quick. One second. Boom. Okay. So now you can put whatever you want. You know, I'm just going to put the cool church website for the sake of the webinar. Then I'm going to highlight it. Okay, I'm going to select it, actually. So I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to click the B over here to make it bold. Boom. 
Then I'm going to click update. And then I'm going to go to the actual website and click refresh. And there it is, the Cool Church website. So now we want to put the writing underneath that. This one says, join us every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. for our live webcast. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. The way you do that is you come to the end of your last word, click enter, and start typing. Join us every Sunday for our, oh wait, every Sunday at 9 a.m. for our live webcast. Boom. And then to center it, you just click on the text. See these lines right here? Click that. Click Align Text Center. Boom. To make it bigger, you click on the text. Then you come over here to the right. See where it says typography? You could choose a preset size like medium, or you could choose large. Or if you really want to dial it in, you could just change these arrows down for smaller, up for bigger. So let's go down to about 25. There we go. I like that. And then we click update. Now, here's the cool thing. When we go to our website and we click refresh, there it is. Ooh, it's coming along. Now, we need to put the button. Watch live now. How do you do that? Go back to your dashboard. You're still on your website. Go to your last word. Click enter. And then right here, I want you to uh, see this black plus over here? Click that. And then go to the block up here and type in the word button. B-U-T-T-O-N. You're going to have an option for button right here. You click that. Now your button has just showed up over here on the left right here. So you could go ahead and start typing. I'll put view live webcast. That's what I'm going to put. You could put whatever you want. All right. And then I'm going to highlight the button. I'm going to click it to put it in the center. See these lines? I'm going to click that. Then I'm going to click align center. There you go. And then to change the color of the button, you click the button. And see where it says color settings you click that and you could choose the, the text color we want white so let's leave that white and then for the button color you can go yellow you can go orange you can go pink you can go red you can go green i kind of like the the i like that one let's go with the orange and then you just click update okay now to go to our website you just click refresh there you go you're rocking and rolling and we did the first part of the website. Now, how do you add welcome to the cool church? Well, the way you do that is you come down here, see this black plus, you click that. And then I want you to type in the word paragraph, P-A-R-A-G-R-A-P-H. And it's going to give you an option for a paragraph. You go ahead and click that. And then you just start typing. Welcome, whatever you want to type, to the cool church website boom to center it you click the text click these lines align text center boom to make it bigger you do the same thing come over to your typography you could choose your size if you want medium you want large or if you want to dial it in with the arrows over here up is bigger down is smaller i want to go with let me see let's go with 40 i like that that's kind of cool all right, so welcome to the Cool Church website. And then to go underneath that one, you just go to your last word, click enter. And then I think this one says the church that is on the move for God. So we'll put that also. The church that is on the move for God. Boom. To center it, you click the text. Click these lines right here. Align text center. And once again, to make it bigger or smaller, you can come on over here, choose large, or if you want to dial it in, you choose the arrows. I'm going to go with about 25 on that one, okay? Then I'm going to click update. All right, let's go to our website, click refresh. Ooh, that's rocking. That's nice. I like it. All right, so we're making progress. Now what they have is three images. How do you add these images on your website? The way you do that is you go after your last word, click enter. And once again, it gives you this black box, or you could click this blue box up here, the blue plus. But I'm going to go ahead and click the black plus, okay? And then I want you to type in the word columns, C-O-L-U-M-N-S, and select this columns thing here. 
And then I want you to select the three, 33, 33, 33. Go ahead and click that. All right, go ahead and click update. Now I have three other images on my hard drive that I'm gonna go grab and I'm gonna put them on my website. And you can put whatever image you want, but these are images that I just made, simple images. I'm not a graphic designer, but I just made them real quick in Photoshop. So the way I get those things, I click the plus, <clears throat> then I wanna type in the word image. I-M-A-G-E, then you select image there, and then it's gonna ask you to upload your image. So I'm gonna click upload, then I'm gonna go get my live webcast image. Boom, there it is. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna click plus, choose image. I'm gonna choose upload. Then I'm gonna get my church podcast image, okay? Same thing here. I'm gonna click plus, I'm gonna select image, then I'm gonna click upload. And then I'm gonna get my small groups image, okay? And all I did was double click it. All right, then I'm gonna click update. Then I'm gonna go to my uh, website, click refresh. There's the images. But if you notice, they're skewed, they're crooked. So how do you get them to be centered? Well, you go back to your dashboard, click on the image. See this line, these lines right here? Click those, align center, boom. Click the image, click the lines, Align center. Click the image. Click these lines. Align center. Boom. You click update. All right. And then we're going to click refresh on our website. There you go. It's aligned up and centered. Nice. All right. So it looks like we're making some pretty good progress. Now, underneath these images are some text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this text for the sake of time. Control C on a PC. Command C on the Mac. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the image and I'm going to click the black plus. And then I'm going to type uh, select paragraph and then I'm going to paste that text right underneath. Boom, right there. And to center it, you just click the text, click these lines, align text center. Boom, just like that. All right, so I'm going to go to this website. I'm going to grab this text here. I'm going to copy it, go back to my website. I want to click this black plus. I want to click paragraph, then I want to paste the text. Now, you could type your own text. I'm just pasting it for the sake of the time for the webinar, okay? Then you click center, you're good to go. I'm going to click update. Then I'm going to go grab the small groups text from this website, our gold website. I'm going to copy it, go back to the website, click the image, click this black plus, click paragraph, and click control V. And then I'm gonna click the text, click the lines, and cl click align text center. Boom, and I'm gonna click update. All right, then I'm gonna go back to our existing website and click refresh. Boom, looking nice. Ooh, that looks nice. <clears throat> All right, now, now, how do we add this video? The way you add the video is you wanna click the black plus and you wanna type in the word cover again, C-O-V-E-R, and you wanna select that. Boom, select cover. Now, instead of adding an image, we're gonna make the background a color. So I'm gonna try blue. Ooh, that looks nice. I'm gonna try blue. Looks pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't kind of go with this image, but uh, I'll just leave it. All right, so now I'm gonna start typing. If you notice here, it says hello and welcome to our website. So I'm gonna grab that text. I'm gonna paste it. I'm gonna type a little bit just so you can see how it could type. Hello. And welcome to our website. Boom. I'll just type it for the sake of the webinar, okay? Hello and welcome to our website. We hope that you enjoy this. I'm going to put uh, enter short video. Boom. Short welcome video, I'll say. Okay? Here we go. And then I click update. Then I'm going to go after the last word, click enter. And then this black plus, I'm going to click, click, I'm going to click the black plus, And in this box, I'm going to type in video. Okay. And then I'm going to select YouTube. Now, all I have to do, I can put any video I want, any video from YouTube. So I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to grab a video from my YouTube channel. And you could get whatever video you want from your YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, let me see. What video could I use? Uh-oh, let me see, not that one. 
let's see here. Let's go to videos. Boom. And let me grab this one. I'm going to grab this one. Okay. So now, in order to put the video on your website, all you have to do is you go to the video that you want on YouTube. Now, once you go to that video, you want to go where it says share. You click that. And then you click copy. Now, once you get that, you're going to go back to your website. And you're going to put that URL that you copied right here in this box. So you're going to paste it. Control V, PC, Command V, Mac. And then you hit embed. And there's your bit. There's your video. You click update. And you go to the website. You click refresh. Let's see what we got. Ooh, there it is. Nice big video. But I don't want it to be that big. So how do you make it smaller? Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Okay. So get rid of any block. You click on it. You click these three dots. And then you just click remove block. Boom. Now, what I'm going to show you how to do, I'm going to show you a little secret. After your last word, you click enter. Click the black plus, And then I want you to click columns. Type in columns. And then select columns. And then select three, 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 three. Boom. In the middle one, I want you to click that plus, click YouTube, and then paste your URL right there in that box. Click embed. Now, the video is small. Go ahead and click update. And if you click refresh on the website, you're going to see that the video is really small. But I'm going to show you how to resize it to any size you want. See these things on the side? The reason why we did three columns is we're going to use these columns to resize it. When you click on the column, it gives you an outline. See that? But if you come to the right, it gives you a... Little option over here for percentage width. And if you slide it to the left, your, co your column gets smaller. So I want you to slide it to about 25. And you can zero in with these arrows. Go about 25. And do the same thing with this column. But if you notice, when you resize the columns, your video gets bigger. See? See that? And we're going to go to 25 on this one. Boom. Now, you can make the video smaller or bigger by resizing your columns. Like, say, if I want it bigger than that, I could go to 20. On this side over here, you want to make sure each side is the same. So let's go 20. Boom. And then I'm going to go over here to this one. And I'm going to go to 20. All right. See how the video is getting bigger? Boom. And then I'm going to click update. Then I go to the website and click refresh. And now my video is going to be nice. That's that's nice. And now you got a nice home page. <clears throat> Let me get some water real quick. <clears throat> now, here's the cool thing. You have not paid anything yet. You've done all this for free. And this is nice. This right here is a rocking website, man. That's rocking. That's rocking. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the link on this button to our live webcast page. And we're going to put links on these images. How do you do that? So that way, when people click the button... It takes them to our live webcast page. The way you do that is you click the button. See this little link that pops up here? You click that. Now, go, go to your website and go to your live webcast page right here. Click that. And then you go to the top up here and you, you want to copy this URL. Copy it. I right-clicked and I copied it on the PC. I'm not for sure what it is on the Mac. <clears throat> then I'm going to get that URL and I'm going to put it in this box. And then click the arrow. And then click update. Same thing here. I'm going to go to this live webcast image. See the little link that pops up? I'm going to click that. And since the button and this image both link to live webcast, I'm going to put the same URL there. Okay, and I click the arrow. Now, for church podcast, I go to my website. I visit the church podcast page. All right? I get this URL. I copy it. Go back to the website. Click the link. Click the image and then the link and paste that URL in there and click the arrow. Boom. Same thing with small groups. I click the image, go to my website, go to the small groups page. And then I go up here and get this URL. I'm going to copy it. Go back to the website. Click the image. Click the link. Put the link in this box right here and click the arrow. Then I click update. Let's go ahead and refresh our website. For the home page, let's click the home page, and there you go. So now when I click live webcast button, where does it take me? To my live webcast page. If I go back to the home page and I click 
this church podcast image. What does it take me? It takes me to the church podcast. That is rocking. All right, let's build our live webcast page. Where you do that is you want to click this W and you want to go where it says live webcast and you want to click with edit with block editor. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image and a video. The way you add an image, you click the black plus and you select image. Then I'm going to go upload an image from my hard drive, which I already have on my hard drive, which is I called it my live webcast banner. So I double click it and there's my image right there. It makes it look pretty nice, you know, adding a little image. And then after that, I'm going to click this black plus. Okay. And then I'm going to click YouTube. Now, we're going to set up a live feed, a live webcast. In order to do this, you need to have a YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. And when you go to your YouTube channel, you click this little video plus thing up here. And you click go live. All right. Now, once you click go live, it's going to give you this page. And you can set up a pre-setup, uh, like a pre-setup feed. So you can schedule a feed, basically. So we're going to schedule a feed for this coming Sunday. So when we go live on our YouTube, it's automatically going to show up on our website, which is rocking. Okay. So what you do is you go to schedule stream. <clears throat> Excuse me. Create new. And we're going to call this Sunday morning celebration service. And you can call it whatever you want. Okay. So. We're going to call this one Sunday morning celebration service. Now, after that, after you type in the title, you want to go here and you want to choose the day you want to air it. So we're going to say Sunday, the 22nd, and we're going to say 9 a.m. Say our service starts at 9 a.m. So we're going to find 9 a.m. There it is. Is it for kids? No. And then you click, scroll down and you click create stream. It's going to take about five to 10 seconds to create the stream. All right, now you can see right here, it's created November 22nd, 2020, and we're ready to roll. Now to put it on your website, you click the image, then you click this plus, I mean this arrow, click the arrow, scroll down and click this where it says copy video link, you click that. And you go back to your website, and in this YouTube area, once you put that link right here in this box, Okay, and then you click embed. And then you click update. So now when you go to your live webcast page, you are ready to broadcast live. As soon as you go live on YouTube, that feed is gonna show up on your website. Now there's a lot of benefits to this because you could put a giving button, you could put a contact us button. I see churches promoting their webcast on social media. You don't wanna do that. You wanna promote your webcast on your website. There's so many benefits to having people come to your website instead of social media. I don't want to get into that because that's a whole, that's actually a whole nother webinar, but there's so many benefits. And the best, one of the best benefits is you can connect with the people. They could watch your, uh, they could watch your service. They can read your blog. They can listen to your podcast. They can check out all your small groups and they can even fill out your contact form. Not only that, you can put a give now button. And they could give straight from your website. Now that's rocking. <laughs> and let me show you how to put the give now button. So if I go back and I go here and I click the plus and I just type in the word button, right? I could choose either two buttons or I could choose one. So let's choose these two right here. Boom. So one button, I'm going to select it and I'm going to put give now on that one. Give now. And the next button, I'm going to change the text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the button. I'm going to come over here where it says color settings. And I'm going to make the text color white. Okay. And I'm going to make the other button. I mean, oh, text color white. Sorry about that. Then I'm going to make the button. Let me try. Let me try a different color. Let's try. Let me see what color we can go with. Boom. Okay. Let's go with that one. Boom. Okay. And then you just click update. And now we're going to add this. We're going to make this say contact us. So you just click on the text. And you just delete it and put contact us. Boom. There you go. All right. So now if I want them to give, say I have a PayPal or 
PayFast or, or a giving uh, platform for my website, I just put that link, I click the button, click this link, and I put my direct link right here to my PayPal or to whatever, you know, you whatever giving service you use. I'll just type in the PayPal page just so you can see. So I just type uh, PayPal.com and I click the arrow. Now, one thing you want to make sure you do is open a new tab. That way, when they click this button, they won't leave your service. And you click update. Same thing with the contact us. I could click on here, click this link. I can go to my website. I can visit my contact us page, just like we did before. Get this URL, copy it, back, and have, have the button selected. Click the link and put the URL link in that box and then put, click the arrow. Then I click update. And now when I click refresh and I go to our giving, our, our live webcast page, I could actually watch your service and I can give now and I could contact you. I click give now. It takes me straight to the PayPal page. And here's the cool thing. I'm giving, I'm filling out my giving, right? But check it out. I'm still logged into your service. So I'm still hearing the music play. Everything's going on. That's just one benefit. What I see people doing, promoting social media, then you got to put a link in. Then once I click the link, it takes me off your service. Then I can't really contact you because there's no contact form. So it's better to lead people to your website. Okay. So now you got a live webcast. How do you build a blog page? Well, let's go back, click the W. And then where it says post, I want you to click right there. And then where it says hello world, go ahead and trash that. And then where it says add new, click right there. And we're going to write our first blog. So I want you to call this one my first blog, okay? My first blog. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, you have a testimony from the mission field, uh, a, a miracle, uh, a praise report, uh, however, whatever you want to write about. It's your blog. You could do whatever you want. But I tell you this, the more blogs you write, the better. So let's just say we titled it my first blog and we say hello. Thanks for stopping by our church blog. We hope that you are blessed. Now, just say I'm, I'm typing more, you know, for the sake of the webinar, I'm just going to copy this text. I'm just going to paste it. So just act like I'm writing more. Boom, I'm writing away. Boom, I'm writing a blog. I'm, I'm into it. I'm sharing how God's moving on the mission field or whatever the blog may be about. I'm writing. Boom, I'm writing some more. Look how God is moving. Lives are being changed. So then I write, right? So I'm done. So I click publish. I click publish again. Then what happens is I go to my website and I click blog. Look what happens. There's our first blog. And then if I want to read more, I just click read more. And there's the blog. Come on, tell me that's not rocking. That's, that's your first blog right there. And if you want to write another blog, you just go to post. Add new. And let me tell you, the more blogs you write, the better. It could be like a newsletter for your church. It could be like an information booth. I mean, websites now are like a church building, especially in 2020, because a lot of people may not feel comfortable going back to the church building yet. And that's understandable. So now you got to create the website, your website, like it's your online church building, just like you have information booths and all that. Your blog could be your information booth. My goodness, this is good stuff. So let's just call this my second blog. Okay. Then I come down here and I start writing. I'm just going to paste the same thing. Boom, boom, boom. I paste. I'm writing away. Maybe this was a praise report. Okay. I'm even going to change the title. I'm going to go back up here. Instead of calling it in that second blog, I'm going to call it praise report from the mission field. Boom. All right. Praise report. I forgot the word report. Boom. All right. And then I click publish, publish again, go to my website, click on blog. There you go. Praise report from the mission field. And if I want to read the blog, I click read more. There's the blog. And you can write as many blogs as you want. And I'll say it again. The more blogs you write, the better. OK, so now you've already got three pages on your website. Now we're going to build the podcast page. How do you do that? Well, you go to your dashboard, go to pages, and you go to podcast, and you click edit block editor. 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an image because I already have an image that I have on my hard drive for my podcast. 